So what do you fantasize most about Dragon Ball Z and everything about the anime and series? So, the anime series Dragon Ball Z is the best piece of art that's ever been put out into the universe. It's got the best characters, the best fight scenes, the best art, the best villains, the best heroes. Everything about it is perfect, right? Yes. You got Goku. He's pure-hearted, strong, funny, sexy, charismatic. That's enough. Charismatic, funny, and uh, he's all around the best person in the whole universe. I feel like that kind of like resonates with you a little bit. It does. Uh, I see a lot of his traits in myself. So that's where it just sparked your interest, right there. Right. So and then you've got Krillin, this tiny little guy with uh, bald hair, no hair. Completely bald. Um, he's small, but he's feisty. It's just like me. Yeah. His destructo disc is very destructive. Very. Very. Like, if you had to rate that 1 to 10, how destructive is ten. this? 10. Okay, 10. You think highly of him? Yes. I think the highest of Goku, though. Oh. Of course, of course. Yes. So, like, how do you find out about, wait, what's the bandana all about? Actually, the bandana is my true form. I just took it off to relate with you mortals. I see. I, I, I guess I see. Anyway, uh, how did you find out about, like, Dragon Ball Z and where did you first see that? So, <clears throat> have you ever heard of Ninja? Yeah, I've heard of that beta male scumbag. He switched from Twitch to Mixer, didn't he? But yes, you know. it's very, very controversial. Either way, he's still a popular Fortnite streamer. <laughs> Doesn't he hate his wife? I can either confirm or deny, but... I had to try. Um, I just heard him talking about Dragon Ball Z. And one time he dressed up as Goku, and I was like, hmm, maybe I'll try to watch it. I thought he, like, twerked in that outfit. He did twerk. <clears throat> The Ninja twerking video is great. We'll set that aside for now. But so I, I was like, you know, Ninja likes Fortnite. I like Fortnite. Mm -hmm. Ninja likes twerking. I like twerking. Of course. Ninja likes Dragon Ball Z. I probably like Dragon Ball Z. Makes sense. Yeah. I watched the first episode. I'm hooked. Just hooked. Hooked like a hooker in the corner. Yeah. Do not disrespect Goku. <laughs> What's your favorite fight scene in Dragon Ball Z? Definitely the last fight scene on Planet Namek where Frieza kills Krillin and it causes Goku to go Super Saiyan. It's like global genocide almost. No, because all of the Namekians are Immortal. evacuated. Why? Because they know the planet's about to be destroyed by Frieza. So it's not even a fight scene, it's just everyone ran away. He's so powerful. Actually, he killed them all. By He evacuated them by killing them all. In cold blood. Yes. But Dende, the little guy, wished them all back with the Dragon Balls. Seven of them. Seven. Was it like 11-11 make a wish or like the stars aligned and... You put all of them together... Summon the dragon, make your wish. Make your wish, make a wish. So, like, I heard about Gohan and how you, like, just don't like him the first season and stuff like that. Yeah, the first season, Gohan is just a whiny little baby. He just cries all the time. But right now, Gohan is the hero. How was this, like, who is Gohan? Like, how was he born and... So, this is actually kind of a funny story. Is it? Yeah. Goku had sex with his wife, Chi-Chi, and ejaculated in her vagina, and impregnated her, and she had the baby Gohan. <laughs>
He was born in like eight and a half months too, something crazy like that. Like, it wasn't nine months. Like, he it's not your preemie. standard baby. He was a preemie. Yeah. But like, did, did she have like a C-section or? No. It's a natural birth. That's yep. amazing. Squeezed him right out. Popped his little head out and he was born. Yeah. Cried for seven he hours. He actually was a breech birth. Breech birth. Feet first. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Tail last. Tail last, yeah. So, um, what are your thoughts on the flying nimbus? Like, the flying nimbus is useless. Uh, useless. Goku can fly faster than anything. He's like faster than the speed Keemstar. of light. He's faster than Keemstar. Faster than Keemstar. He's so fast. In fact, this flying nimbus, it's just not even worth anything. Nothing. Nothing. Like, you would not put that in your room in a little plastic box or anything. It's actually not little. It would... You stand on top of it. It's like a cloud that you stand on top of. Cloud nine. And it takes you... Flying Nimbus! And it's just there. And then it comes up, and you step on it, and it takes you where you want to go. I would use it, maybe. A mortal could use it, maybe. If they had good balance... Maybe if they strapped themselves to it so they wouldn't fall. Quick feet. Yeah. Dexterity. Yes. I'll have fast hands as well. That might help. But all in all, like, the main point of this argument is I've heard and came to the conclusion that you believe you can go Super Saiyan. I can go Super Saiyan. Now, what is Super Saiyan, actually, now, before we get into that? Um, it's not like in uh, the anime where... They are engulfed in golden light and their hair turns yellow. Mm -hmm. It's just like if you're in a life-threatening state of events, you get this burst of adrenaline, so to say, and you get super strength and like super reflexes and instincts and fighting skills. It's very amazing. I can do it. So it's like if you were at a party and you got like a lace of black tar hair and just da 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 and you're right, right, it's immortal. Right. It's like basically what it is. So you'd like to show us how you go Super Saiyan? Or? Right. I'm probably the only human that can willfully go Super Saiyan. Most just, humans just, just like yeah that it actually takes a minute, but most humans can't do it unless their th life is legitimately threatened. But yes, I can make myself go Super Saiyan. Just on impulse. Like, you don't have to be threatened or anything. Right. So. Sometimes, like Goku, I will stay in Super Saiyan form just to get used to it. And, uh... Just to impress the ladies or whatever. That way I can ascend Super Saiyan and go Super Saiyan 2 if I needed to. Sounds pretty cool to me, man. You care to show us, or? I could show you, but we'll have to do it someplace else, someplace where there's more space. Okay. Um, you guys will definitely have to stand back. So, yes, I can show you. Okay. All right, you want to go do that? Yes. All right, let's go, man, let's go. Okay. Are you ready for me to go Super Saiyan? I've been ready. How about you? Oh, he's ready. I can just tell by that face. I would like to warn you both. It's going to be loud and violent. Very violent. Just so, kids, graphic warning. Yeah. Rest in peace, headphone users. Exactly. Okay. Are we ready? I'm ready. Chill, bro. <clears throat> Yo, I thought we were trying to watch Dragon Ball Z or something, bro. Won't let me sign in. <laughs> Won't you um, sign in, bro? We've, we've literally been sitting here for like ten minutes. I know the password is right. Apparently not. It's like every time you come over here and try to sign into your account, <laughs> never sign in. It's like you don't even have an account or something.
Do not contradict me. I just did. Do you want me to go Super Saiyan again? <laughs> you can't even go Super Saiyan again. You're a weak mortal being. There's no possible way you can do it twice. That's enough! Alright, what are you doing? <laughs> Chill, dude. You did this. Uh, I know you're mad, man, but it's four in the morning. My mom's trying to sleep. <laughs> I'm not apologizing for that. Crazy? Crap.